do we need to save you from your business? Remember the book Frankenstein? A scientist figured out how to bring something to life, but when he was done, the very thing that he created ended up destroying his life and his marriage. Yeah, it wasn't very good at all. But let me ask you, are you building a Frankenstein business? Is the very thing that you created to give you more freedom and a greater sense of purpose actually making your life worse? How can you keep that from happening? Well, here are three tips. Number one, be intentional. When I started my coaching practice in 2009, I was straddling two states. And so I did all my coaching by phone because it was important for me to be able to serve my clients wherever I was or wherever they were. Now, sure, they asked me to use Skype and those that were in the same city wanted to meet face to face, but I said no. And guess what? They said, okay, you can say no. So think about what it is that is important to you in your business. What are you looking for? What are you trying to get out of entrepreneurship? Now, does the way that you're actually building your business deliver that? If not, make some changes. Number two, chart your own path. Now, experts may tell you that there's only one way to do something because that's what they've seen other successful people do. But don't be afraid to ask, is there another way? Every best practice was once a groundbreaking idea. Why can't you be the one to come up with the next new thing that becomes a best practice? And number three, find fulfillment outside of your business. It's just like a marriage. I mean, your spouse may be your best friend, but it's okay to have interests or hobbies that don't include them. Unless that interest is another person, yeah, you probably don't want to do that. But think about this. If you are eating and sleeping and drinking your business every single day of every single hour, you are going to get sick of it. So get yourself some hobbies, doggone it. Make some friends. Spend some quality time with your family. Your business is not going to fall apart because you stepped away from your laptop for three hours. Here's the bottom line. If you're not intentional about the business that you're building, just like Frankenstein's monster, it can come back to destroy your health, your relationships, and maybe even your life. Ask yourself, what do you need? What's most important to you? And make sure that your business is not in conflict with that. So what's most important to you? What do you need to do to make sure that you're not building a Frankenstein business? Be sure to tell us about it in the comments below because you don't know who can learn from your experiences. Well, that's it for today, but be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, StartupLifeSupport.tv, and share because you never know who in your network needs to see this. So until next time, build your business intentionally or on purpose.